So here is presented the model of deliberative democracy, and you could see that uh, we have to have the more open government, uh, so-called network governance model, in which government is not the only and exclusive uh, uh, decision maker. And all the decisions actually go through the more consensus-oriented uh, model. And how many of you, uh, at least in your life, uh, uh, we are participant of such demonstrations? Oh, so, great! So, we have the group with, with so-called unconventional activities. So, the uh, proportion between the voting uh, and the usage of the unconventional uh, uh, activities uh, 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 is really three times less uh, than voting, for example. And uh, I, uh, as far as I know, in the group we have representatives from Armenia and Azerbaijan, uh, the tendency is the same. Uh, engagement is really very difficult, and can I ask why? Uh, so, what could be disadvantages of the deliberative democracy? Take time. Um, time, first of all. Yeah. Any other comments, please? Um, well, one, uh, one group may defend their ideas better than others because they are better informed. Or even but, manipulate uh, the yeah, citizens to sign a petition which actually is oriented <laughs> not on common goods but on their. Uh, own profits, for example. Okay, great. Even it's hard to to go and really reach the common good while presenting samples uh, solutions. Do you have any experience with with uh, these uh, village assistance programs? So it's hard to manage to talk. First of all, to to provide uh, on this meeting to uh, all the representatives of the village to take part. First of all. Then, on uh, uh, the discussion process, because of the very low perspective of moderation, techniques or skills, really comes to very, how to say, um, not so controlled version of decision making. And at least uh, uh, the gubernator's office of Georgia um, presented the solution of the process. So they go to these um, representatives of villages, they themselves identify what kind of uh, uh, problems this village has, present even one or two or even three alternatives, and present to vote for voting. So it means that program which actually is based on the deliberative model is transforming on top-down version. Okay? And this model of participation and engagement of each citizen is transforming in top-down, very directive, and, um, how to say, uh, really is very, very far from this idea of deliberative democracy. So, uh, when I have experience of training the public uh, servants or even uh, representatives of public sector, and when we are talking about the deliberative model, more participatory modeling of decision making, main idea and counterargument could be why to engage people or citizen. They don't know anything. Okay? So this model that government knows everything and government has the responsibility and competencies. Uh, to struggle against some uh, policy issues makes uh, this counter-argument, but here we present and stress that if the issue, policy issue is local, and if it's very specific, and people in, with these local, uh, 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 local settlements could actually, because they live there, could have the, uh, some potential of solution and presenting very, first of all, uh, very effective or even very cheap perspective or solution of these problems. Rather than the uh, um, line ministerials who actually transform uh, day by day or month by uh, month uh, from different, how to say, policy issues and uh, they actually observe the situation from very broad perspective. 
But uh, citizens could be involved in each stage of policy making. So it, they could be uh, involved on preparation process, so-called initiation process. For example, petition signing or even presenting their ideas uh, from official formal uh, perspective. Uh, formulation, and formulation is the process which actually identifies different alternative perspectives of solution of the problems. And here we actually ask the question, what kind of alternative makes more uh, profit or even more perspective for common goods, etc., etc. And on formulation process, uh, you could involve and engage citizens to be the participants. And... Uh, uh, People could be involved also on decision making, even I, I, I um, underlined the referendum. So, high touch or high tech? Okay, actually both. So, in the perspective of deliberative democracy and more engaging of the citizens, we use high touch, and in, in this sense, it's very sensitive. The face to face communication is very, very relevant. And uh, you could find in Western democracies, for example, huge amount of cycling of the face-to-face -face meetings with the uh, ordinary citizens. And the number of these um, people who we, uh, have been engaged could be 10,000 or more, for example. But it's face-to-face. -face. But another more cheap perspective for engaging the citizens is high-tech uh, possibilities. And high tech actually is very cheap. Uh, uh, it makes time to reserve actually. And I have to, to stress that it's used. Geographic information systems are actually used for engaging the ordinary citizens. And why? For example, modeling transportation. You could ask, for example, citizens or, uh, or uh, people who live in Tbilisi to make some ro road from one part of Tbilisi to another and could identify uh, the number of the people and the roads. And you could choose the road which uh, has much number of the voters, for example, okay, on the electronic system. Or even you could model the infrastructure because, for example, if the, some city has new settlements, uh, you could ask, in which purpose we could use this for infrastructure, for environmental zone, etc., etc. And you could ask, and people will be engaged in the process because they have some ideas. And number of the people um, uh, identified with different solutions could be used for taking as uh, the final decision. Actually, okay. Uh, I can just share one experience. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I saw in, in Israel, mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in a small community like a kibbutz, mm -hmm. uh, they actually installed in people's houses a voting system. Mm -hmm. So they, they, on, on certain issues, they could vote, vote yeah. within the community without leaving their houses. Mm -hmm. And actually, that was like 20 vote years for, ago. Okay, huh? vote for. So, both for everything. Issues. I mean, they they vote issues. all the time. Uh, in Georgia, we have Petition G. You could present some idea, for example, and uh, the instructor, not the instructor, administrator of the site puts the number of the citizens that is relevant for presenting as the, the initiation, for example, okay? Now, highest number was with this um, panorama Tbilisi, against the panorama Tbilisi, and last time I, I checked it, it was now, more than 5,000 uh, people signed against the Panorama Tbilisi. I'm uh, pretty convinced that you need more participation in Georgian politics, but I'm not convinced that you need participation in questions like how do we rearrange our park or how do we have a new bus line somewhere. Mm -hmm. These are not so important questions for Georgia. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you need more participation exactly on the lower left corner in the diagram. Okay. The government is more or less ignoring uh, interest Values. those people who are affected by the policies in mm -hmm. terms of businesses and um, they seem to have this attitude which you mentioned at some point we know better why should we ask those people mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. they seem to believe that they know how to 
to investment and how to employ people. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that point, in my opinion, it would be uh, much more important that uh, the government would be somehow nudged to uh, listen more to, to mm -hmm. in particular, to the businesses. Yeah, I totally agree with you. So it was presented on the citizen engagement perspective and this, how to say, strategic planning, some, some years, etc., etc. is some techniques showing the model, but a huge amount of issues are still needs a more open government, a government which needs to present the possibilities of engagement, engaging of the policy actors. For example, academia, for example, some business uh, actors, etc., etc. So the uh, new government of, uh, from 2012, main, uh, how to say, uh, uh, main idea was to make the politics more deliberative. And even um, Saakashvili actually identified that they, they, uh, their vision was more uh, um, um, top-down and they were not uh, oriented on engagement of the other policy actors. But what I find truly surprising is the lack of engagement of citizens, so-called citizens, in the management of their own immediate affairs. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about starting with the block, the Yomishira living. Mm -hmm. the, the dirty, unpainted, with no life, mm -hmm. and no ability to take, uh, take common decisions mm -hmm. on how to maintain the, the staircase, the elevator. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. uh, this breakdown of democracy at the grassroots level, I've never seen anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And this is combined with ex extreme extremely high level of activism in demonstrations. You mm -hmm. see, so very low level of, yeah. This for me is a, is a puzzle. Yeah, it still um, will remain the puzzle. For, for my vision, it's due to the Soviet experience, when everyone we oriented on individuals and profit, even with a um, very unordinary version to get from the government. And, uh, there is of the sense of community actually doesn't exist with the community oriented issues but still this uh, community with the regard of political issues for example who has to be our president or even what's the um, you know, portion of the parliamentary or even how to say policy structure for example this exists, so it's more, uh, that's why it's ambivalence, community on the political uh, level and political struggling and uh, no existence of the community for solving their own local uh, common, uh, problems. common problems.